Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning. My name is Commodore Peter Leafy and I have the honour of moderating our next session of the Sea Power Conference as we explore uh, navies and foreign policy. Uh, I know I'm quite biased, but I think the International Fleet Review events to date have gone particularly well uh, and have enabled the RAN to showcase not just ourselves, but our friends, neighbours and, uh, and allies from around the world uh, to our fellow Australians. Uh, the review has also served to remind Australians of the, uh, the national importance, not just naval, but national importance of the uh, arrival of the first fleet unit of our Navy 100 years ago. Uh, but that's really been to our internal audience. As Admiral Griggs mentioned yesterday, uh, the powerful messages that uh, fleet reviews can also send to external audiences are just as important, and it's the role of navies in foreign policy that we'll now explore. Uh, I'm very proud and, uh, and privileged to have uh, two very well-respected and distinguished speakers for this session, uh, Professor James Holmes from the United States uh, and uh, Admiral Sir George Zambellis from the United Kingdom. Our first speaker is Professor Holmes, who's Professor of Strategy at the US Naval War College and the Senior Fellow at the University of Georgia's School of Public and International Affairs. He's a former naval officer who served in the first Gulf War, uh, so brings a practitioner's perspective uh, to both his research and to his teachings. He's widely published across a, a range of media and his co-authored uh, 2010 book, Red Star Over the Pacific, is on many Navy's professional reading lists, including my own. He also blogs regularly as the Naval Diplomat and for those that haven't, uh, haven't uh, read that, I'd certainly recommend uh, that you Google it and, uh, and take a look, it's well worth it. Today, he'll present the theoretical concepts articulated in Ken Booth's 1977 book, Navies and Foreign Policy, and use those concepts as a framework to explore the uh, policy purposes and the value behind the International Fleet Review and what impact that review may have on uh, the Indo-Pacific region. Please join with me in welcoming Professor Holmes to the podium.